Hi, I'm Philip Burton of sqlintro.com and let's have a look at this week's question. And this week's question is, what is the equal sign used for in Excel? And that's by Scott. Well, thank you, Scott. And there are actually three uses for the equal sign. And I'll be curious if you know how many there are. And if you do, why not put them right now, stop the video and put them in the comments underneath this video. Now, the first use is to start a formula. So a formula is something which is dynamically calculated. For instance, this is text, is not a formula. There's nothing dynamic about it. That cell will always contain the words, this is text, until I change it. However, if I say equals, that's starting a formula. So I can say equals one plus two, which of course is three. So the equal sign there is donating the very beginning of a formula. Now, you don't actually have to use an equal sign. You could use a plus sign, plus one, plus two. However, notice that it has auto-corrected that to an equal sign. Using pluses at the beginning is fairly old fashioned. It comes from spreadsheets when Microsoft Excel was not the dominant spreadsheet. It comes from spreadsheet programs in the 1980s and 1990s. And incidentally, you can also start formulas with a minus. So minus one minus two is also acceptable, but you'll see nowadays Excel puts a plus, an equal sign at the beginning. So that's one method, that's one use of Excel. It's used as a set. So set this formula to be this. Another is to compare two values. So for instance, if I start a formula by putting in an equal sign and if equals D3, D5, if D5 is equal to three, then put yes, and if not, put no. So what's happening here? Well, we've already discussed this first equals, that's starting a formula. But here in this second one, we're saying, okay, have a look at D5 and have a look at the number three. So have a look on either side of the equal sign. And if they are the same, then go to this. And if not, as you can see, value if true. And if not, go to this. And you can see what happens if I go to formulas, evaluate formula, and I evaluate. So currently, we start off with our original formula. If D5 equals three. Now let's evaluate. And what happens is it's going to look at D5, which is the underlined bit, and change it for the actual value. So if three equals three, what does three equal three? Then the answer is true. So if true, then go for the first part, and if it's false, go to the second. So there's the answer, yes. So now, and you remember I was talking about formulas being dynamic, if I change this first formula, so equals one plus two plus one, then this second formula, which is dynamic, which looks at the contents of this other cell, it's no longer the case that three equals three, it's now four equals three. Does four equal three? Well, the answer is no, it's false, and therefore it retrieves the false part, the no. And just in case you're using Excel in a language other than English, here you can see the translation of the word if into about 15 different languages. This is the sort of format that I do on my Excel formula courses. And you'll also notice that English is the only one of these languages which uses commas to separate the true from the false. The other languages use a semicolon instead. So that's two of the uses. The first one is to set a, to start a formula. And the second is to equivalence. Are these two sides equal? So what's the third? Well, the third is actually just decorative. For instance, I could write if D5 is equal to three, then put true. So here I'm just using equals in text. Now there's another way of doing a decoration. It's like doing an underline. So for instance, this is my heading and I want a lot of equal signs underneath it, enough to fill the cell. Well, first of all, let me show you a good way of getting enough equal signs to fill the cell. You just put one equal sign, and then you go to Home, Alignment, and you change the 
horizontal alignment from general to fill. And now it will repeat that character enough times to fill the cell. So that is another way of using the equal sign as a bit of ornamentation, a bit of decoration. But there is another reason for me wanting to show you about just putting the equal sign. Okay, if I put one equal sign in, fine, the computer accepts that. If I put two, then the computer doesn't accept it because it doesn't know whether I'm entering a formula or text. It thinks I'm entering a formula because of this first thing, the first equal sign. So what it suggests is putting an apostrophe at the front. An apostrophe is the shorthand for this is text. So if I put apostrophe equals equals, it will now treat it as text. And that is a way of putting things which should be formulas as text, or one of the ways. So for instance, if I want to annotate here and say equals one plus two plus one, and I press enter, that will treat it as a formula. Whereas if I put in apostrophe right at the beginning, it will now treat it as text. And another way is to go up into the number tab and go to text. Anyway, a lot of detail there. So let's just review. The question was, what are, what's the equal sign used for in Excel? And the answers are to use to start a formula, to use as an equivalence to say, is one side equal to another side? And to use as decoration. And you might even want to fill the cell with it. So thank you very much for watching. If you do like this, why not follow the, my other videos or go to my website www.sqlintro.com for more articles and videos.